I have a question for you. Who am I? Am I the one who's making this video? Am I the one who's making this video? Or am I the one who's making this video? I don't think you can actually answer this question because you don't know. You can't possibly know who the person on your screen is. What makes an act believable? To answer that, you would have to know what the baseline traits are. To clear it up in pretty simple words, a uh, baseline of a personality is those series of traits of a person that show up mostly when, well, you have no pressure and you're chilling at home. <laughs> well, not exactly that, but you would have to watch Observe's one hour full videos to get into details. Cut. But does it matter? Everything is fake, including this wine glass and including this wine bottle. And it's the best wine that you can ever have. So cheers from your psycho. By the way, this video is made at the suggestion of Theo that says how to tell if a reaction is real or fake. First is who is reacting? Is it a vocal coach? Is it a music lover? Or is it a common representative of the regular audience? One, a vocal coach. If it's a vocal coach, I find it normal that they're more reserved or dry because they actually have to say something about it. So maybe later they will sell you a course. Also, you can't be involved emotionally at 100% on a performance when you have to keep in mind that later on you will have to provide some details about the technical side of the performance, which is also why besides copyright prevention professionals, well, music professionals, they stop for the video because otherwise they would have to remember it. At X, Y, Z moment, I thought of this and then... An example would be that on Vocal Nerds, a reaction channel I was on, I knew that Juliet would show me some extremely skilled vocalists, so I would have to share some thoughts about it later on. So my attention was always divided between listening to enjoy and listening to comment. Anyway, if it's a music lover, then it seems normal to me and I hope I don't have to point out why. People will be half analytical, half emotional. And last, if it's a regular person from an audience not related to music, then it's where the you get what you ask for comes into play. Because even if some people are exceptionally expressive with their face, most people will look something like this mm. while being filmed reacting to a video. Wouldn't that bore the hell out of you? As I repeat, you get what you ask for. Think of it this way. You're in a room with your friend. Both of you are watching videos separately on your phones. You laugh or cry at one and then you show it to him. You don't watch the video again with them, you watch his face reacting to it, hoping you share the same emotional connection, it doesn't happen. And you're a little bit disappointed. The point is, your friend can afford to annoy you or disappoint you. A YouTuber, a reactor on YouTube can't afford to disappoint you. At least most reactors can't actually do that because probably they expect the financial outcome of that activity. That maybe there are a vocal coach trying to sell you subtly lessons. Maybe it's somebody who aspires to be an influencer to sell you some product later on. So they can't really afford to be honest. If they do, well, here's what happened to me. I reacted to Dimash Kodai Bergen, Be With Be on Vocal Nerds, and I was expecting some operatic ballad. It didn't happen because there was this mix of styles. I was confused throughout the whole video. And my confusion, trust me, got me so much hate. His fans went like, mm, well, I'm not sure I want to watch somebody be acting confused for five minutes straight. Hmm. Wasn't that supposed to be a reaction? A first time reaction? Didn't you want me to be honest? And I can't blame you. I mean, why would a reactor keep posting videos that you won't watch? Anyway, answer that first and then bother to actually understand the technicalities of reacting. And this is where it gets interesting. How do you actually tell if somebody is being real or fake? As I you would really have to know a person's baseline in order to be able to compare what are they in real life and what they should allow you to see on YouTube. Because yes, the only thing you see is what they allow you to see. You don't know if I'm honest or despicable. Because my goal with this channel is not to sell you my personality. Anyway, I'll stick to acting. Look at the say no challenge of those three TikTokers. Which one looks the fakest? Let's do a quick imagination exercise here. First part, the eyes. Cover their mouth, fix their eyes and wait for the emotions to change. 
Could you still read in their eyes the same emotions that are promised on that list, but without looking at the list? Not so sure. Once you've done that, look at your favorite reactor and try to figure out if you cover his face, well, part of his face, do they communicate the same emotion as the rest of their facial acting? The thing is, with a little bit of training, you can control the muscles on your cheeks, your, your smile, your nose, your eyebrows, your front. You can control that with a little bit of training. But if you look at the, the eyes popping up, and yeah, you can control that. But the way your pupils dilate, that requires much more training. And to be honest, I love acting, but um, it takes a little bit of time to get into a character. About this much. <laughs> I gotta smile and make my eyes big and... Yeah. Oh, I forgot to say, if the pupils don't dilate, it doesn't mean always that it's not honest. It can also mean that you are exposed to a lot of light. Right this second, I deal with one, two, three direct lights on my face and one of them is a big white umbrella and a freaking direct one all around me. Anyway, the second part would be repetitive behavior to strikingly different content. As an introduction, look at my pupils in this Imagine Dragons reaction. <laughs> this is my most honest and calm, yes I said calm, reaction because I'm addicted to Imagine Dragons so I go crazy. So this is calm and I've listened to this song about 20 times before reacting to the official video for the first time. But my pupils didn't go as big as you would expect me to based on what I previously said. But if you watch my other reactions, you know that this is what gets me truly excited by comparison. Because the second I hear that Dan Reno will scream, oh my god, just imagining his voice screaming, oh, oh. It's impossible that a person gets just as excited as rapper reacts to any video. So there you go, you have it. You're up. If the behavior is exactly the same, in every video, no matter the artist, then something is wrong. Because a person cannot react to any artist the same way. It's different emotions for f sake. I didn't react to Diana Kudinova the same way I reacted to Imagine Dragons. I didn't react to Billie Eilish the same way I reacted to Dimash Kudai Bergen. Come on. Okay, I said I'm not gonna roast, but this guy here is fake as... And it's not only because his pupils don't dilate, I can justify that with the light going straight in his eyes and I'm fine with it. No, it's because once he reacted to The Weeknd, he said, oh, the best ever, I'm gonna listen to this band for now and forever. A few months later, he reacted to The Weeknd again and he said, oh my god, who is this band? I love it. Really? Do you? Or you're just doing that for the views and for your OnlyFans account? And as a side note, there are people who don't have their face as expressive as others do. So obviously when you have people like vocal coaches reacting, it can come across as fake because they have the analysis on mind to provide later on and the emotional experience they have to go through in a way just so you would watch. Also, come on, a vocal coach is somebody that studied music for years. Their ears have been confronted to thousands of singers that you probably haven't even heard of. Do you really expect that they would be blown away by a, any average note of any singer? But they will. That rasp. Because you want the praise for your artist in that way. You just want the... <gasps> and last, one big question for you. How do you know if you're honest with yourself? Which one you would rather click on? This or this? If your answer is this, you're probably more analytical. If your answer is this, you're probably more emotional. There's nothing wrong with that, you just have to admit it. Just like I admit that I love wine. So cheers from your psycho.